explain the concept of pointer to object with suitable example. Pointer to object or object pointer. Object pointers are useful in creating objects at runtime or dynamically in C++. Object pointer is declared by placing asterisk in front of object pointer's name as class name asterisk object pointer. So asterisk symbol is used prior object pointer to declare an object pointer in C++. Where class name is name of a defined class, object pointer is pointer to an object. Object pointer can be initialized with address of same class object. For example, declare obj as object pointer of rectangle class and initialize with address of another rectangle object. So first we create a rectangle object, x is a rectangle object, a normal object. Then we create a pointer object, rectangle star obj, here star obj indicates a pointer object or object pointer which is initialized with the address of another rectangle object x. So obj is a pointer object which is initialized with the address of another rectangle object x. To access members of class using object pointer, arrow operator is used instead of dot operator. Let find area is a public member function of rectangle class with void return type. It can be called using object pointer obj as obj arrow operator and the function name find area or star obj dot find area. Array of pointer objects. Array of pointer objects can be created using new and delete operator. New operator. New operator can be used to create a pointer object as class name star object pointer equal new class name. For example, to declare obj as object pointer of rectangle class using new operator rectangle star obj equal new rectangle. Array of pointer object can be created using new operator. Number of objects created need to be mentioned as class name star object pointer equal new class name and by using square brackets we have to mention the size. The size indicates the array size, the number of objects, the number of pointer objects to be created. For example to declare an array of 10 rectangle objects using object pointer rectangle star obj equal new rectangle of 10. So 10 indicates the number of rectangle objects, the size of array and star obj, obj is the object pointer. So it totally creates 10 rectangle object. And each can be accessed by using the object pointer obj. Delete operator. Delete operator can be used to destroy a pointer object as delete object pointer. Delete operator can be used to destroy an array of pointer object as delete followed by square bracket and object pointer name. To destroy an object pointer named obj, delete obj. To destroy an array of object pointers named obj with array size 10, delete followed by square bracket 
and OBJ. OBJ is the name of the object pointer. So while we are deleting an array of pointer object, we don't have to mention the total size. We have to mention the square bracket that indicates OBJ is an array of pointer object. Example C++ program to design a class employee with two data members EMP ID and EMP name parameterized to constructor to initialize its data members and display method to display its values. Using object pointer display the details of an employee. In second using an array of object pointers display the details of two employees. In this case, we create a class which is named as employee. There are two private data members, EMP ID and EMP name. In the public section, we have including the default and parameterized to constructor. Parameterized to constructor is used to initialize the data member value EMP ID and EMP name. Next, a display method is written to display the detail of data member EMP ID and EMP name. In the main method, we create an object pointer. The object pointer name is obj. By using new operator, we are creating the object pointer. So employee is the class name star obj equal new class name employee, where we have to mention the parameters for the parameterized constructor. So 101 is ID and Mumbai is the name of employee. So one pointer object will get created. The name of the pointer object is OBJ. So star symbol is used before the object pointer name. Now in order to call a method belonging to the employee class, we have to use arrow operator associated with the object pointer OBJ. So to call display method, we have to use arrow operator or object pointer OBJ. So we call OBJ arrow display. Now finally to destroy the object pointer, we can use delete followed by pointer name delete OBJ. So it will destroy the object pointer OBJ. Pointer object named OBJ for the class employee is created using new operator. In second case, display details of two employees using an array of object pointers. So we have to use the same class employee with uh, two data members, EMP ID and name and the constructor and a display method. In the main method, we have to create an array of pointer object. An array of pointer object can be created by using new operator. So we mentioned the class name employee star obj object pointer equal new class name class name is employee and within the square bracket we have to mention the size of the object pointer. So here we have to create two objects. So we are mentioning the size as two. Followed by in the parenthesis we mention the values which are required for the object pointers. So for the first object pointer, the values are 101, which is the EMP ID and next is EMP name Mumbai. And for the second object pointer 102 and Kochi. So 102 is the EMP ID and Kochi is the EMP name. So during the creation of the object pointer, these values will get passed into the parameterized to constructor and the respective data member will get initialized. So there are two objects for this pointer object OBJ. So in order to access the method, we have to use the arrow operator for the object pointer. To call the display method by using the first object, we can directly call OBJ arrow operator display. So here obj act as the first object. To move to the next object, we can write obj++. 
So it will make the object to move to the next object, the second object. So we have written plus plus obj. So that points to the next object, second object, which we have created. Totally, we have created two object. So first object is obj. Second one is obj plus one. So to move to the obj plus one, the second object, we have written plus plus obj. And by using arrow operator, we call display method. So totally, we have called display method twice, the first with the first object and the second with the second object. The array of pointer object can be deleted by using delete, delete operator, delete followed by square bracket and the object pointer name, the array of object pointer name, which is obj. Array of pointer object named obj of size 2 for the class employees created using new operator. 